Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be tackling the kitchen and sharing with you guys some tips on how to keep your kitchen clean. And this is something that I struggled with um, throughout the years, um, having loads of dishes at the end of the day, and I developed different little ways on how to keep my kitchen clean and clutter free. And I wanna share with you guys um, how we work as a family to keep our kitchen clean. I really do believe that in order to run a successful, productive household, you need a grip on two places. That is the bathroom and the kitchen. Um, and so today we're gonna be tackling the kitchen and sharing with you guys our kitchen tips. I'm gonna show you around my kitchen and I'm gonna share with you guys um, the different things that we do to keep our kitchen clean, clutter-free, and ready for meal prepping. So here we go. Okay, so here is my kitchen. I'll give you a quick turnaround. It's, it's not too big. Um, as you can see, the counters are clean and clear. I don't like keeping anything on the counters. Um, the dish soap and the dish rags are underneath the sink here. I keep the dish soap, the dish rags, some garbage bags, some gloves. Over here on this side, I keep dirty dish rags, vinegar, um, some bags. And that is how I keep um, the dish rags and the dish soap, where I keep them, right on the bottom of the sink. Since I only do three big cleanups in the day, I just keep it down here when I am not cleaning up. Whenever I am doing a cleanup, I just bring it up to the top. Okay, over here on this end, uh, let's talk about mail. Mail is a huge source of clutter in a home. I have a, a drawer just for mail. I don't keep the mail on top of the counters. Here I keep the mail and um, I go over it every day, and weekly I shred and throw away anything that I don't need. I used to have dividers for the mail, and um, that works really nice if you have a really big drawer, but in the home that I live now, I only have this small drawer to keep my mail, and it's working perfectly. I also have a, a junk drawer. So here I keep any little things that I need, like screwdrivers, um, bag holders, um, rubber bands, anything that I need, matches, is kept here so that it's not on top of my counter. Um, when it comes to um, appliances, I don't keep the appliances on top of the counters. I know there are people that keep their appliances on top of their counters and that is fine if you don't have any other storage for them, but I really do feel that counters are not storage. And so for storage, I have this rack over here. This is my storage rack. Um, I got it at Home Depot and I keep all of my appliances here. So over here I have my snacks some fruit. All of my appliances are kept here, so I use them, I wipe them, and I put them right here on this rack. Over here I have some food storage. Uh, over here I have cloth napkins. I don't use paper towels in my home. Um, and over here I have um, napkins. I have cloth napkins. Um, if I, am ha I have a video on how I keep my cloth napkins, I'll, I'll link it in the description box. If I'm having like a huge party or something, I will... Um, Use paper towels or, or, or napkins if I need to. But that is where I keep all of my things so that it's not on top of my counter. So the main ways that I keep the kitchen clean is by not letting anything accumulate. So I do three big cleanups, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I rinse everything and put it immediately into the dishwasher. I don't let anything pile up in the sink. Before I used to let breakfast pile up on top of lunch, then lunch pile up on top of dinner and it would be a huge cleanup afterwards. So I quickly just rinse everything, put it in the, in the dishwasher and then put any appliances that I have used away and wipe the counters. Um, so the key is to put everything in the dishwasher as you go throughout the day, not leaving anything in your sink or on your counters. And then at the end of the day, I run the dishwasher and then in the morning, everything is ready to go for the next day. So everyone, as they eat, they empty their plates in the garbage can and put their dishes in the dishwasher. Um, this is something that children as young as three years old can do. Here is my three-year-old emptying out her plate and putting her dish in the dishwasher. It's very important to instill these um, habits early on so that children um, can get into the habit of doing this every single time that they finish eating. And throughout the day, if the kids use any cups or any snack dishes, they immediately put everything into the dishwasher. That goes for all of us. So that way everything stays clean throughout the day. Okay, so 
Okay, so for when I am cooking, I like to clean up as I go. So I have a little container always that I like to put kitchen scraps, any garbage. I put it in this little container, and then when I'm done, I just quickly throw it in the garbage can. Um, when I am cooking, I like to put things away immediately. So if I use milk, if I use any seasonings, put it away immediately. I don't like to fill the entire counters, even though sometimes I do that because I'm cooking a big meal. I try to clean up as I go. I cannot tell you how helpful it is. The more mess that you make while you cook, the more mess you're gonna have to clean up afterwards. So it's really important to clean up as you go, tidy everything up. If you dirty something, if something spills, clean it up right away. If you have um, any seasonings, any condiments, anything that you took out of the fridge put it back in um, and then after dinner the only thing that I have to do is clean up the dishes that we are using at the dinner table because everything should be clear and clean as I go okay so this is the aftermath of dinner there's really not much left to do since I have been cleaning up as I go and the kids have been putting their dishes in the dishwasher as they finish. There's only these two pots left and these couple of dishes over here. So it should take 10 to 15 minutes to wrap up the kitchen, wipe the stove, and everything's going to be ready to go for the next day. Okay, so this is what the kitchen looks like after my last cleanup for the day after dinner. It took about 12 to 13 minutes um, and everything is nice and clean. Over there are the sponges um, and dish rags. I boil them for two minutes to sterilize them for the next day. All of my appliances are back um, on the shelf where they belong and everything is put away. Um, so this is how I keep my kitchen clean. It really is simple. All you have to do is create a habit of cleaning up after yourself. Putting everything in the dishwasher as you go throughout the day. So my first advice is to go through every single one of your cabinets, clear them all out, declutter them, get rid of extras and doubles and things you don't need, and then work on clearing your counters. Put your appliances away. There is really something about keeping clowners clean that makes one want to keep the whole entire kitchen clean. When the counters are clean and let's say you put a cup on there, um, you want to uh, immediately put it away because it just stands out and it makes you want to keep everything else clean um, I just love how everything looks it's just so beautiful when the counters are clean um, so I hope you have enjoyed the video um, for more videos like this please subscribe thank you so much for watching check out all of my other cleaning videos bye bye